Hello guys, my name is Matthew and in today's video I'll show you side by side comparison of HyperX Pulse Fire Haste versus Glorious Model O. This is just an information video about the specs of these products and if you want to know the actual prices check links in the description down below. Glorious Model O and the HyperX Pulse Fire Haste perform quite similarly. Both options are wired only and feature a honeycomb design. But the Hyper X is shorter and a bit lighter. It also has a wider CPI range and a slightly better quick latency, though the difference shouldn't be noticeable. On the other hand, the Glorious cable is a little more flexible and its set CPI is slightly more consistent. It also allows you to save more than one profile to its onboard memory. When we go into comparison, number wise, both of them are obviously uh, FPS mouses. Both of them are very light and they are not very well suited for MMO players since they are lacking action buttons and also a thumb rests. Obviously they are very light and not very well suited for travel since they are corded. <clears throat> they are pretty much, uh, yeah, volume wise they are the same but uh, Hyper X weights 60 grams compared to Model O 67 grams, which is very nice. Both of them are very very light. They look sexy. They are ambidextrous, and meant for be uh, meant to be for uh, larger hands, preferably. Both of them got paracord-like cables, which is very nice. Very good gliding experiences. This is what you get in your boxes. And let's go to the end talk sensors. Sensor specifications of Pulsefire is using Pixart 3335, starting at 200 CPI, maxing 16, 16K, and adjusting every 100 CPI. Model O is using Pixart 3360, starting at 400 CPI, maxing 12K, and also adjusting every 100 steps. In that case, I like the HyperX sensor more. Both of them got six mechanical keyboard, uh, sorry, buttons and got only notched wheel without the free wheel option. HyperX has 12 MS click latency and Model O 13, which is kind of nice. Both of their software is supporting Windows uh, mainly and Mac uh, just partially, but if you are playing an FPS game on a Mac, you are uh, one of the very few people. So yeah, well, in my opinion, Hyper X is a very nice mouse. It would be my choice, but if you think otherwise, leave our uh, leave us some feedback on the bottom of this video. So thanks for watching, and see you on the next video.